Hey Chris here, welcome to my solar farm in suburbia. Special thanks to Renergy Solar, Keyshawn and Sean in Ontario, California for expediting the six panels that I just installed uh, a couple days ago. I increased my array wattage to 2,400 watts. Making some good power. Got it all wired up. We'll go in here real close and I'll show you. Uh, some of the nitty gritty good stuff in there. All right, here we go. 2,400 watts on the fence line here in suburbia in my tiny little lot backyard in Oklahoma. Good sun today. Gonna have a full monster kilowatt hour harvest kind of day. Let's take a look. So yeah, I use these super strut spring nuts, square washers, hardened washer there, grade eight bolt there. And this, I moved the ones that were over there, the panel that was over there, moved it over here to the end and just reused. I didn't want to drill more holes in a new solar panel. So I just, and it didn't line up perfectly, but that's okay, no big deal. It looks huge, but it's really not that bad. I want to show you underneath here. I'm going to sit down here. Look at the wiring. I used a branch connector, four-way, because these are wired in series, 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 parallel. And I'm going to, I'm going to do some rewiring here, um, probably this week. A couple things I'd not real happy I need to do like right here this is going to go inside the the rail and be protected with split wire loom I'm going to redo all this here too that goes under the ground and you got a black cat that likes to hide out there too <laughs> and a brown cat all right let's look at the power numbers at 8 30 in the morning this is my 12 gun, 12 panel Renogy RNG 100D solar panel array, 1,200 watts. And there's my 1,300 watt laminate frameless ones angled toward the west. All right, it's 8.40, July 10th. Let's take a look at the power numbers. Okay, on that 2,400 watt array, let me take this sticker off here. Look at there. Oh yeah. All right. Now let's take a look at the 1,200 watt array, the one with all the, the flag and the Air Force banner on there. It's good. Good. And let's look at the laminates, the frameless ones on the pergola. Good. All right, let's zoom out here a little bit. I had the batteries uh, doing an inspection yesterday. I shook them a little bit, you know, for the sulfation sitting on the plates. Inspected, made sure there was water in there. All the cells were filled up and did an equalization charge. And everything looks good. No problem. I did have a viewer request to do a... to take a look at my transfer panel because I transferred the energy from the Outback Power VFX 3524 over to my transfer panel, the Reliance Controls transfer panel, and the viewer wanted to see um, the, the meters kind of power we're doing. I don't have much on in the house right now, but you should be able to see on the meter here a little bit what's going on. Okay, I don't know if you can see that or not. It's about right. And then when the air conditioner compressor window unit kicks on, this will this will jump. It'd be 
this side right here will jump. And I wish I could do that, but I'm not going to do it here. But you get the idea of how this thing works. So, all right, making power, making power. I'm very happy. System's good. It also got a little fan here for cooling. I got this at Walmart for I don't know what it was, 15 bucks or whatever. High velocity, and it works stupid good. And I took the plates off these baby big boxes for cooling, and it seems to work stupid good with cooling in here. Even though it's 90, 95 degrees in this garage, um, those breakers are not getting hot at all. All right. All right. Hey, thanks for watching. You know, the purpose of this video is not to show off and say, "Woo hoo, I can, you know, have all this cool stuff. This has taken me years to get this all straightened out. Lots of trial and error, lots of money wasted and stuff. I had to sell off a lot of stuff to get where I'm at. But uh, it does cost money and it does take time. But 75 to 80 percent of my house is off grid now electrically. Um, electric bill is way down. So it's working. It works really good. Even in my tiny little lot here in suburbia, um, making good power in Oklahoma has stupid great sun uh, to work with. You know, the amount of days out of the year that you have sun in the angle. Really, really good. So, all right, guys. Hey, thanks for watching. Please comment below and hit that share button down there, too. Um, hit like, dislike, all that good stuff, too. So, hey, thanks for watching. And we'll see you. Thank you, cat. Three on the end there for 600 more watts and panels.